Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who may heaven and earth. If you, O Lord, kept the record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But for you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. Since we are gathered to hear God's word, call upon him in prayer and praise. Receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of this altar. Let us first consider our worthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, that we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together, as his people, let us take refuge in the infinite mercy of God our Heavenly Father, seeking his grace for the sake of Christ and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, His mercy has given His Son to die for you, and for His sake forgives you all your sins. So call our deed servant of Christ, and by His authority I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Join us in our entrance hymn.
No, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to have those like we used to. As some health units have already put a ten-person limit on household gatherings again. All the eating, drinking, merrymaking, and laughing, the gift-giving and caroling. Looks like it's all up in the air again as virus numbers are on the rise. No, it looks like it might not be home for the holidays for many this year. Thankfully, there are still many things that we can do to mark this special time of year. The lights can go up and the wreaths and green to bows can be hung. The tree, as long as you can still get one, with all the talk about another shortage this year, can still be put up, as it is in many homes already. Baking can get underway and you can listen to your holiday favorites. And yes, of course, there is the shopping that can still be done, even at the mall, so far this year, as ever online if need be. Home for the holidays? Yes, that one's a little up in the air, but there still is a lot that can and should be done. Because whether COVID-19 likes it or not, Christmas is coming. It will come just the same as it has for the past 2,000 years, and as it will for many more to come. Because no, beloved, nothing in creation, in heaven above or on earth below, or even in the foulest depths of hell, can change the fact that in the fullness of time, God sent forth His Son to be born of a woman under the law, to redeem those who are under the law. Nothing can change the fact that the Virgin Mary conceived and bore a son, and that they called his name Jesus, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. No, nothing can change the fact that late one winter Bethlehem night, unto us was born a Savior who was Christ the Lord. No, beloved, nothing can change that, not COVID-19, nor any other trouble or trial or grief or sorrow. Yes, it is sad and hard that many won't be home for the holidays, whether it's because of COVID-19 or some other sickness or trouble, or because they've gone home to heaven. But none of that does or can change the fact that Christ was home for the holidays that first Christmas night long ago. And because of that, He will be home with you this Christmas too, wherever and with whomever else you celebrate. Yes, beloved, Christ came. He continues to come, and He will come again. That is the truth that the Church highlights in her Advent days, is why she cries out to us, Prepare the way of the Lord. Yes, beloved, it's time to get ready, as the crowds of Jerusalem did when the Lord Jesus entered her humbly riding on the colt of the donkey. It's time to prepare our hearts and lives for our King, who came, who comes, and who is coming to save us. Because whoever else won't be home for the Christmas, Jesus will be with you, as surely as he was born in Bethlehem and rode into Jerusalem so long ago. He made sure of that when he came and made his home with you in the waters of holy baptism long ago. So when he poured out his Holy Spirit upon you, made your heart his Christmas home. COVID-19, health measures, sickness, trouble, trial, and death might be able to keep others of you love away from your home this Christmas. But nothing can stop Jesus. He has risen in victory over all of that. Sin, death, and hell can throw at him. And so he is always with us in his word, even unto the end of the age. He will never stop coming to us in his flesh and blood, and he will certainly come back to take us to heaven, so that his home might be our Christmas home forever. Lord Jesus has come, as He comes to us today in His Word and on the altar, and He will come again. And so COVID-19 or not, it is time to get ready to greet Him. It is time to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that He has done, and say, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Yes, beloved, it is time to prepare our lives in the home of our hearts for Jesus. It's time to tidy up in here. It's time to confess all our sinful thoughts, words, and deeds asking God to cleanse us with His forgiveness. It's time to seek the Spirit's help to deck our lives with all faith's good and beautiful things. Yes, beloved, it's time to poke our humble hearts with faith, love, mercy, kindness, and generosity for our King who comes to ride on them into this world. It's time to lay down the cloak of our good deeds in the world, to pray for others, to give to those in need, to reach out and help the sick, to show the love of God to all, especially those that we are going hard to love. Yes, beloved, it's time to put as much, if not more, time into getting our lives ready for Jesus as we do for all those we hope or wish will be home for the holidays. They may or may not come, but Jesus is coming no matter what. Of course, all this preparing is not going to happen if it depends on us. If a little shopping, baking, and decorating can overwhelm us when it's added on to daily working, feeding, and cleaning, how will we ever be able to get our messed up lives ready for Jesus? Only with God's help, beloved. Only with God's help. The Lord and the Lord alone can make us increase and abound in love for one another and for all. He and He alone can establish our hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father. 
of the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. So as we enter these Advent days, let us pray to God our Father, that for Christ's sake he will pour out his Spirit on us, to lead us into true and heartfelt repentance for our sins, and help us to adorn our lives with every good work. Because yes, beloved, although home for the holidays may be up in the air for many, it's not for Jesus. No, beloved, it's not for Jesus. And so let us get ready to go out to meet him by meeting him today, as he comes to forgive and renew our lives in him and his body and blood, by saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes to save us. Amen. And may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, the life of us. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and all people according to them. For unashamed hope in the Lord's return, that sustained by His Holy Spirit, we may have joy at the advent of Christ our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the church, that the Lord of hosts who sent His Son to return His just wrath in our place on the cross, the blessed proclamation of His word, preserve us in baptismal grace, so the Lord Jesus is always our righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who hear the word, that the Lord who moved Jesus' disciples to sing His praises as they entered Jerusalem, but likewise open our mouths to declare His mighty works, even in the face of opposition and persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who govern, that the Lord who rules with righteousness and justice, steadfast love and faithfulness, who grant the authority to our land, to our justice, so that his people might live in peace, that make known his love and faithfulness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in need of mercy, that God who establishes our hearts blameless and holy before himself, by mercy and all the afflicted, remembering especially this day our brothers and sisters, Leon, Lars, Dave, Nancy, Barb, Mike, Lori, Frank, Eric, Debbie, Betty, Ron, Nell, Annette, Faith, Cheryl, and all others who suffer in our midst, they would comfort all the more, learning especially the family of God and God, until the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints and glory. Let us pray to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. To those who travel, our Almighty God, Father, direct their ways, protect and preserve them from loss and publication. Grant them success in their journey and joy in their home life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who receive the Lord's Supper, that the Lord, whose Son Jesus Christ, rode into Jerusalem to save them from sin and death, to prepare our hearts to welcome them worthily in, with and under the bread and wine of the Holy Communion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Here that you are hands, dear Father, and all for which you bear, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives in his view in the Holy Spirit, one God. Service of the sacrament from page 280. Please. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is his right to give him thanks and grace. It is truly good right inside you that we should at all times and all places give thanks. 
thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, the mighty and everlasting God. We count this blessing to you so freely bestow on us in all creation. O all, we give thanks to your boundless love shown to us. You sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into our flesh. Laid on him our sin, giving him into death that we might not die eternally. Because he is now risen from the dead, and lives and reigns for all eternity, all who believe in him will overcome sin and death, and will rise again to new life. Therefore, the angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying,
Father's love. Keep us firm in the true faith for our days of pilgrimage, that on the day of this coming we may together with all your saints celebrate the marriage feast of the Lamb of His kingdom, which has no end. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Join us in your closing. Oh.